Hello. Um, they're fucking loud, those things, aren't they? They really are. I, uh, I've just done a little yoga thing. I didn't go on a jog yesterday or the day prior. Um, because the day, the day prior, I, two days ago, I didn't just feel like it. Yesterday, I was aching, and I also didn't feel like it. And I wanted to do, wanted to do my own like home workout. So I did that for the last two days. Um, and now I've just done yeah yoga, and I because I'm gonna do a workout with Nico at two, because um, he has like a regimented time each day where he does like a pretty intense home workout. Home workout. So I want to do that with him. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, Nico said, like, are you sure? And I was like, what, what, what? And he was like, oh, I'm just giving you shit. And he, he was, like, trying to, not trying to dodge, but super indirectly crit criticise me. And I was like, dude, just, just say. And I was like, well, you know, you might be putting too much on yourself trying to work out twice a day because two days ago I did my workout in the morning and then Nico's and then yesterday I was going to do the same um, and it was like and I was like no dude thank you like thank you for the criticism like you're probably right like I, I'm putting too much pressure on myself and it probably isn't sustainable working out twice a day or going for a jog in the morning and then working out at two with you um, so yeah thank you for the otherwise I'd be blind by my own self expectation of like you should work out twice a day you know um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll keep on jogging, uh, if I don't, I'm not going to be too hard on myself because I'm, so far I'm eating well, uh, I'm not under eating, I don't think, but I am peckish in the evenings, I do get quite hungry, uh, maybe I'll buy more fruit, but saying that, I think a lot of the eating would be boredom eating, um, so I've not bought anything snacky, um, and yeah, that's about it. If I if I, yeah if I don't if I don't jog, then at least I'll be, I'll be, at least I'm doing something once a day. You know that's that's the main thing. Uh, if it's not jogging, I'll be working out with Nico. If I go for a jog, I probably won't work out. Yeah, I probably jog less now because uh, uh, Nico working out with Nico is like it's just in there. I don't have to going for a jog is more mentally strenuous for me. Um, it's more a lot more resistance anyway that yoga thing was good actually it was quite enjoyable yesterday I did some of my own just stretches and why oh yeah I found like an article that had yoga poses and I just copied them today I did a proper like routine yoga with Adrian on YouTube it's like 20 minute mind shifting shift your perspective yoga um, and that's 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 what made me laugh. Like at the end of it, I was really laughing because she's like, "I admire you, Namaste." I was like, "What the fuck?" And then um, it was all like, "Oh yeah, if you spread your fingertips, like you know, really, the energy is all in your fingers. You know, really try to get the energy for whatever you want to do after this. If it's writing or or dancing, you know." I was like, "Ah." ah. You know, it's just a bit, a bit cringe, and I don't know. It's just I can't say exactly why, why I find that, but um, I do find a lot of it like, that stuff cringe when people like taint what they do with that sort of shit. And on Nico's workout, as as a was doing one, and this woman, woman was like, um, "I'm really proud of you." You know. Uh, Keep going. You can do it. Be your best self, or whatever. Oh yeah, that's, be the best you can. <laughs> Tommy, my my guy, my guy Tommy. I'm just like, ah, oh. it's just cringe because it just seems so false. And then when they're like, Namaste, it, it's just that sort of like new age, just horse shit. It's like, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really going to going to go into depth because I can't really think of why, why it leaves a sour taste in my mouth. It's just like the taking part of that culture and just westernizing it and just just corrupting it polluting it with their own ignorance and going oh yeah we we embody this it's like no what what no no um yeah 
Because I don't know. Imagine if, imagine if there was a, a critical yoga guy or yogi, yogi, critical yogi. He'd look at these and go, twats. You know what I mean? <laughs> or like, you know, respect for doing it and taking yoga and spreading the word and whatever. But leave out the, the bullshit, hippy dippy stuff. That's that's just not genuine. Um, what else? Apparently, I might be getting paid for these six weeks I've got off. I got my paycheck. I got a paycheck two days ago, and that was for like last week. So I get the paycheck a week delayed, um, and I got a full paycheck even though I had the Thursday off because we get the paydays on a Thursday, every Thursday. Um, I got it a day early. Uh, but anyway, I got paid for a day I didn't do. That's the crux of it. Um, which potentially implies that I'll get paid for every day I don't do during these six weeks. And I got an email last night saying, like, if you're forced to work from home, we'll have a safety net. We have a safety net fund or whatever for people who can't come into work. So I think that includes me. Well, it, it does, but I don't know if it means I'm getting paid. I'm not positive. Um, 619's coming up. Ray Mysterio. What a, what a guy. I saw him live against the great Carly, and he got thrown out of the ring. Anyway, that's a side reference. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Um, where the fuck was I? Jesus. So yeah, uh, my amp broke. Uh, I got I bought ordered another ordered another mini amp. They said they sent me a text today after said, oh yeah, there's uh, the website's wrong. Yeah, I know you've paid for it, but we need to refund you because it's not actually in stock in the warehouse. That's what. Great, nice one, nice one. Um. Yeah, yesterday played a good, decent amount of guitar. I actually understood for the first time like how a chord works, how an E major chord works, like the first, third, and fifth. And if you take a half step off the third, it creates a minor chord. And I did that with the E major to minor, and I was like, wow, that it clicked. Something clicked in music theory for the first time. We also watched uh, the second to last episode of the first season of True Detective which was phenomenal it's such a fucking good series it is fantastic the writing is stupidly good um, yeah what else got Age of Empires 2 yesterday downloaded it from a torrent and I haven't played it yet I might play that today I'm not really massively yeah, about gaming um, but I'll see I'll probably, probably play that because Nico wants to play like, two two player stuff, I think Luke asked me about why I read philosophy. So I probably won't answer that fully here because I haven't really thought it through. I think that's a hell of a question, really. Cause, I mean, it is for me anyway. Because I have a, but yeah, I think it's probably because I'm still doing soul seeking and I uh, soul seeker. That's that peer to peer download software soul seeker anyway i'm doing some soul seeking um and i'm probably still looking to philosophy for an answer <laughs> but at the same time i think it is for like intellectual development because i i do eventually want to read like kant's critique of pure reason and hegel's phenomenology of spirit and i don't think it's entirely simply because i want the answer and i think they'll bring me happiness i i don't think it's that um, in as much as it is just, I don't know, curios curiosity, I, I don't know, like, what the fuck have they got to say, you know, can I, I think it is, I, I think I'd be doing myself a disservice if I say, oh yeah, it's just because I'm insecure and I, you know, find meaninglessness in life and I'm hopeless, it's not that, it's not that entirely and it's not that, that much in comparison to just, I guess, I think pure curiosity, honestly. I don't know, like recently I learned how much Platonic, like Plato <coughs> affected Christianity and like I think Christianity was like product of Plato Platonic thought Neoplatism and Judaism and Christianity was so much more widely acceptable one of the reasons I can't remember but the other reason was because you didn't have to get circumcised. So it was like, people were like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know. I don't really want my fucking dick 
you know, mutated or whatever the word is. Um, I, can't remember, I can't think of the word. But yeah, I don't want my dick. I don't want a bit of my dick cut off to subscribe to this religion. So yeah, Christianity. Um, and then, who was it? Thomas Aquinas reconciled Christianity much more with Arist Aristotelian thought, Aristotle, and thereafter it became more Aristotelian. But then I, I've skipped over a lot of this Christian stuff because it's just I don't have any interest in the papacy or the. Um, uh, mono, what was it? Monast people from the monastery, monastatic, monas, whatever it is. But yeah, I don't have a massive interest. I just want to learn about the philosophers I'm into. Um, so I've been skipping some bits of it. Only over the last two days I've skipped some. Anyway, uh, I'll finish Fargo season three today. Another pretty pretty good series I've been watching. Um, and they have been practicing decent amount of guitar, just without any real sound. Uh, <coughs> that's me. I've been cooking more. Uh, apparently hay fever's coming back. And that's about it. I'm going to probably shower now and then cook some porridge. And not feel bad for not jogging. And then at 2 o'clock I'll work out. Cool.